What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm bringing you a brand new Let's Play to the channel. We are playing Pokemon Rejuvenation and we are doing a Nuzlocke of this bad boy. So if you guys are hyped for that, please smash that like button for me. Your support would be greatly appreciated. I want to give a big thank you to DJ Spinda for making this amazing layout. Thanks bro. I really appreciate it and I love it. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to do a new game. This is a blind playthrough. I have never played this game before. Okay, so instantly dialogue, no name, interesting. Um, can you tell me story about the Zora and the Pangora again, Mommy? So I'm either a little boy or a little girl, I'm assuming. Ha <laughs> ha, alright, I will. That's gotta be the mom. There was once a lonely Zora living deep in the darkest forest. He was a mischievous one, transforming into other Pokemon and beings that lived around. He would often use this ability to trick others into hanging, handing over food and using their homes to sleep in. Because of this, he didn't have many friends. I'm sure you can piece together why. But one day, this changed when Zora met a powerful Pokemon called Pangora. They were fighting over a rare, coveted golden apple. Many hours later, their fight came to an end and no victor was revealed. They knew they were evenly matched one could not take out the other. With both staring at each other intensely, they knew they were destined for friendship. The two became quick companions. They were two peas in a pod, if you will. They traveled the world together, overcame hardships, and went on thrilling adventures. Life was good for the two of them, until one day Zora went too far. Zora planned a devious prank on Pangoro. I shall transform into Pangoro's fallen mother. That would surely give him a spook, Zora said. It'll be my best prank yet. So while Pangora left to find food, Zora put his malicious plan into action. When Pangoro returned home, he was greeted with the sight of his dead mother. Paralyzed with a mixture of extreme emotion, Pangoro dropped his collection of food onto the ground. And that collection of food was... A, a golden apple? I'm assuming that's the girl again. Haha, <laughs> yes, that's right, a golden apple. When Zora saw this, he transformed back into his normal state, looked down at the food and said, Hey, where did you find this golden apple? It looks fresh and incredibly delicious. Zora raised his head to see a face filled with fury, sadness, but most importantly, disappointment. Zora quickly realized that he hurt Pangoro very deeply and tried to apologize. But Pangoro wouldn't hear any of it and immediately ran into the forest. Shaken and worried, Zora ran after him, but Pangoro was nowhere to be found. Zora realized that he repelled his only friend with his selfishness, and Zora became lonely once more. Sleep tight. Maria. Okay, so I, I gotta be a little girl, right? Maria! Morning already? Better get up. Okay, so I'm a, this little girl, I guess. Is there a bag? Okay, okay. I am a little girl. Okay. I got some bank, though. You seen that? Maria got $1,500. That's what's up. Another bag. Oh, I do have Pokeball sauce. I love they separate. Z crystals? What? This game's got Z. That is awesome. Mommy, I'm up. I'm up. Good morning, Maria. Did you sleep well? I'm preparing breakfast right now. Do you mind fetching your father? He's working in his study. Don't take too long. I don't want his food to get cold. You can count on me, Mommy. Okay, so. Interesting. Okay, so let's find out where Potter is. That's, it's gotta be outside, right? This, that's gotta be outside. Basement. I'm not allowed down here, but maybe it wouldn't hurt just to take a quick peek. Adventure. What's down here? What is down here, yo? pictures creepy basement it must be some kind of oh 
Oh, there's the old man. Oh, Marina. M Maria, how are you doing? Mom said breakfast is ready, so get your butt out of this room and have good food. I do love your mother's cooking. All right, I'll be out in a few minutes. Go tell your mother that you hear. Okay. So we gotta go tell, tell the mom. We gotta go tell the mom. Okay. Dad said that he'll be right out. D did he now? Well, there is no use in rushing him, I guess. You should go upstairs and freshen up. I'll have your breakfast ready by then. Okay, then we get to play outside afterwards, right? Of course. Now go on, Maria. I'll be waiting for you down here. I'm going right now. It looks like the mom had red eyes, dude. That's what I was like. Ooh, I was a little confused at. Okay, so. Freshen up. Okay. What was that? Mom? Yo! That was kind of scary, yo. Mommy? Mom? What is that? Who are you? How many times? What? How many times are you going to make this little girl suffer? How many times are you willing to put her through this chaos? I, I'm, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not talking to you. Oh, well, do, do you know where my parents are? They're downstairs. Oh, well, okay, well, I'm going to go to them now. Maria. Yes? No matter what happens, don't you dare lose hope. Don't you dare, don't lose who you are, and don't you dare forget what's about to happen. You understand? Y yes, I understand. Good. Go to them now. They're waiting. O okay. What? Dude, that's a little inch. That's... This is music. What are you doing to mommy? Mommy, wake up. Mommy, wake up, wake up. Mommy, get out of the way. Get Why won't you say anything to me? Why? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What are you talking about? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What are you doing? Marionette. Marionette! Marionette! What? Now for the fifth time, Marionette, your father is waiting for you in the East Wing. You're making him wait longer than he has time for. So get to it. What, what am I doing here again? Marionette, I won't say it again. Just hurry along then. Let me check my trainer card, see if it might. Okay, so I didn't change. My outfit didn't change, at least. But now I'm like in a castle. What the heck's going on? He's dropping me. Okay. Please proceed to your father. He's in the north wing. You won't let me out of this. You won't let me out this way? Search me. And let me not search. Search and let me. What? Marionette, where's my mom? Mommy is sleeping with our lord now, Marionette. Stop calling me Marionette, it's Maria. What is it with this disrespect? Your name is no longer Maria. Now, as I was initially planning to do, no need for explaining, sir. Demonstration may be the key to this girl's mind. Hmm, very well. Arceus. Capradim Gargantia? Orma? I, I, I don't speak. What the f just happened? She's gone now, Marionette. She is with the Lord now. She won't need to suffer the calamity that soon befalls this earth. It's your turn now. No, you can't make me do it. Maids, bring Marionette to the altar. God, let go of me, let go of me. You said the same to my mommy. You said the same to my mommy. She's gone because of you. Enough, Marionette. Go with dignity. I don't want this. Just let me go. Arceus. Camperinum. Guard. Uh, yeah, I can't speak this. 
I hate you. I hate you. Someone, please don't let him do this to me. Someone, please help me. Anyone. Mommy. Okay. Please. Did I just, did I just die? Pokemon Rejuvenation offers a variety of difficulty modes to choose from. This stems from casual, normal, and intense mode. How do you want to play? Hmm. I don't know what we're born. I don't know what they are. Let's play casual, but we're still doing a Nuzlocke. Hello, can you hear me? Ah, that's better. Hello, my name is Amanda. I am the s scout and manager of the Ephraim League. It is my duty to get newborn trainers like you out on the road and ready to go. But before we continue with that business, it's a little history. Will it hurt anyone? The land of is famous for its difficult challenges and wide variety of wide variety of what? Of Pokemon. You're familiar with Pokemon, correct? Humans and Pokemon need each other to grow as one community. That's where battling comes in. But before we get to the battle, you'll need to register and get all that jazz, so let's get started. Do you need any assistance with controls? No. Great, now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about that. The Pokemon League, or which is the Abuum League. Expectations and requirements. In the Evium League, there are 18 gym leaders. You'll need to defeat all 18 to complete the Pokemon League. Pokemon will respond to your calls depending on what level they are and how many badges you have. I'd go further into that, but we'd be here forever. I'm sure someone will explain this eventually. Now let's get your trainer cards set. First things first. I'm a boy. I have a lot of passport photos here, so excuse me if this is Can you please tell me which passport photo you So that's what you look like. If I may ask, what is your name? You know my name. You're the Phantom. What? So you're Phantom. Congratulations, Phantom. You are now registered in the Evium League. Once the SS Oceana docks, meet me at the Gyrian Laboratory. From there, we'll pick your starter Pokemon, and then you'll be on your way to great things. Is there anything else you would like to do? Either. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. Are you done with your registration? Please come here so that I can print your trainer card. Okay. We'll just take a quick second. Just please be patient. Now, to enter all your credentials. Here you are, Phantom. Your trainer card is ready. Phantom received the trainer card. It isn't verified, though. This trainer card isn't verified yet. You'll need to verify it at a Gyrium Immigration. Good luck out there, Phantom. Okay. So, we're not the little girl like I thought. Let's talk to this guy. What's the point of this registration process? Why can't I just walk in and battle gym leaders? I wasn't sure if I could register for the league or not, but in the end, it went for it. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, I wonder if Phantom is finished with their registration yet. Oh, there you are, Phantom. Did everything go smoothly? Since you're done with the registration, do you mind taking a quick stroll with me? You see these doors? When the ship is close to docking at Grim City, a feast will be held behind you. We still have quite some time before we get to that point. So, why don't you go visit my friend Augustus? He's actually the captain of this ship. He used to be a very powerful trainer back in his day. But he's retired now. I'm sure you can find out some neat details about the Evium region by talking to him. I know it's been difficult ever since we left, but we mustn't become depressed. So you have fun, okay? Explore and meet new people. I have some stuff I need to take care of. I'll meet you down here once I'm finished. I'll see you soon. Don't take too long, okay? Okay. Okay. Anything important?
put them in. Oh, are they battling? Yeah, they're crazy. The moment we actually try to open it, the alarm will ring. We gotta find some way to disable the alarms. Maybe we should make some sort of effort to get that cage open. I'm sure no one will find it. would take a couple hundred bucks with us. Whoa! They are planning on robbing the dang ohm ship. That is awesome. They are robbing the ship. That is pretty sweet, actually. Oh, and you can see downstairs. That's awesome. Looking down at the floor below is making me quite nervous. I'm scared of heights, but I can't help but look anyway. Does that make me insane? Yes, it does. That's actually really sweet. I was barely able to afford my ticket from this cruise. I just know the trip is going to be worth it, so I don't mind too much. That is sweet, actually. Okay, it's everything on this floor. It's gotta be the captain's room, right? <laughs> oh, you must be phantom correct. My name is Augustus, Augustus Briney. I'm the captain of the SS Oceana. How are you enjoying your voyage to the Evium region? There's a lot to do. Is that Briney? Is it Mr. Briney? Hmm. So I don't think you'll uh, read more. I've heard from my mother that you're registered as an official Pokemon trainer. Do you know what that means for you? Well, even if you don't know, I'm supposed to lay it all out for you anyway. Because of the size of Evium, there are more than the ordinary amount of gym leaders. There are a total of 18 gym leaders, and instead of an Elite 4, we have an Elite 8. Pokemon also act slightly different in this region. They will only be obedient towards you if you impress them with your skill, potentially. How would you manage to do this, you may ask? You can show off your skill by obtaining lots of gym badges. And the more likely Pokemon will incline to your aid you in your journey. You can see what badge you need for certain levels on your trainer card. The requirements are elected on, so you can always refer to that. Now, that was such a long and boring lesson, wasn't it? How about we head downstairs to this banquet? Yes, let's go. Bye. So it's like a... Kind of reminds me like Pokemon Ranger, I guess. I was in my card. I'm still Maria. <laughs> Level 20. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Gotta keep hitting the same button. Dude. Don't worry, I'm only teasing you. Let's get seated, shall we? Okay. So it's like a Pokemon Ranger thing where you just kind of like hope they get to you, I guess. Our table is just ahead. The banquet won't start for a few more moments. Feel free to wander about until you're ready. I'll be waiting for you. So that tells me there's kind of, there's a Gothitelle right there. Sweet. Sweet. Gothitelle. Oh, that was creepy. Uh, who are you? I think I seen you in that whole thing. I hope the sound of my piano soothes your soul. Okay. Greetings, everyone. It's my pleasure to host this lovely banquet on this magnificent day. This marks the end of our week-long journey together. I hope that the trip will stay with you in your memory forever, and perhaps one day we shall see each other again. And with all that said and done, I'd like to make it to commence. Sorry, but sorry, but I'm going to postpone this little party. I don't know who this is. Who are you three? What is the meaning of this? We're going to need all of you to stay put and listen very carefully. We have explosives on board this ship. Any act of rebellion will result in a calamity none of you can afford. So let's just get through this nice and easy, okay? You're hijacking the ship? Hi hijacking? No, 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 that's too barbaric. We're here to pick up someone. G get Phantom out of here now. Don't take any funny movement. Don't make any funny movements. No one's leaving this room, you hear? 
Hmm. I said don't move. We get them out of here right this instant. Gotha tell you know what to do. You're all doing going to regret this. I just got teleported by the whole damn ship just got blown. And I got teleported to The whole damn ship just got blown to bits because Gothitelle teleported me. Hey, aren't you that kid that disappeared out of thin air? What happened to you? Anyway, that's not important at the moment. What's important is getting off this ship right after you disappeared. Some guy detonated an explosive on the hull of the SS Oceana. Water is gushing in and at an alarming rate. If we don't find a way out soon, that couple with these weird tentacles that coupled with these weird tentacle things they seem harmless but they seem to be watching our every move it's almost as if they're trying to observe us or look for something we should go on ahead i'll stay here and if you see anyone that needs help okay 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 is there look and i think i'm trapped over here right no i can i can Nope, okay, so that was like a little, holy shoot, this is, game is already getting a little intense, and we're already 20 minutes in. Okay, what, is this the bank, this is the bank hall. Five, or, oh, Phantom, I'm glad to see that you're doing okay. It seems like the perfect day has taken quite the turn, hasn't it? Who would do such a thing? What's that? Your mother. I, I actually don't know where she is. When the bomb exploded, it knocked me out cold. When I came around, everyone in the room was gone. Water is gushing through the belly of this ship as we speak. It won't be long until the SS Oceana rests at the bottom of the sea forever. I think I'm going to stay here in my own misery for a bit. There were some people at the exit of the boat looking for a way to stop the water level from rising. We should speak with them. They could have seen your mother. Okay. 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 That's not what I want to do. Okay. Guys, down there, they're trying to block the entrance so the water will come in. The pressure from the water is too great. They can't even seem to do anything. What are we going to do? Okay. There's nothing we can do. We're not strong enough to stop the water from entering. Our Pokemon can't do it as well. We should just try to find some life rafts and escape. Hey, wait. Do you see that dark figure in the water? Yeah, it's very faint, but I think it's... I see it as well. We should head down to the cargo hold to hide. That's a great idea. You kid, you, you need to tell that person blocking the staircase to move. We need to get down there and hide as soon as possible. So these freaking octopus things, you just snatch those kids up. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. Okay. That's, that's crazy. That is freaking crazy. Is there anyone alive down there? Okay. Huh, something started started to attack the guests and now we want to hide in the cargo hold I'm, I'm not sure how keen i am on doing that what if water starts to enter from above what do we do then we'll be trapped and then you know the rest don't you eh, they're back and there's more than the last time what the fudge is that i'm out mm -mm, i don't even care let's hold the cargo hold we going in Oh, there's my mom. What the? It's no use. The water can't be controlled. There's just way too much damage. What's wrong, Sylveon? Phantom, is that really you? What are you doing here? I thought you were somewhere safe. Well, all that matters is that we're together again. This ship won't last very long, Phantom. We're going to have to abandon it. I have a Pokemon who can use Surf to shore, but as for the other people, what makes you think that... You're safe from our onslaught. Okay. We came here for one purpose. I'm not leaving this way. We fulfilled that purpose. Even once you find this attack, perhaps there 
is that a possibility, but that's not something we can for sure. The only thing that truly matters right now is your apprehension. My apprehension. That's correct. Did you think Phantom was our target? Maybe that's what they made the thing if all you want to do is walk into a space to see this association, you can name it all of these innocent people who have no idea what's going on. Good, this is keeping something bothered. It's better if we just wipe them all out of the world. And if someone happens to get out, they would spread a word. Assuming you want to get out, it won't be too bad considering most people can't work for the past few days. It's time people woke up from this dream of safety they have going on. Okay, so mom was their real target? Hmm. It's going down like this, huh? Sylvia, return. Phantom, I want you to take all of my Pokemon. They can help you escape. I'll be okay as long as I know you're safe and sound. That's all that matters to me. Sorry, can't do it. That's not going to happen. Deoxys? That's got to be Deoxys. Don't think you're safe. I'm going to do it. What was that? Look out below! What? Yeah! You better appreciate me, Phantom. Pushing a piano off the side wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. The sounds of a piano crashing on the floor, that song was dedicated to you. I don't even know if it was worth it in the long run. Can you escape here by yourself? Well, but it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Try to escape from this place, kid. Because it looks like my time here is up. Oh my god, the piano lady just saved my life. Or, well, my mom's life and mine, I guess. And where do you think you're going? You think you you were done with me? Be a good little child and come with us. There's no clue to fight back. That would just take things. That would just make things worse for you. Talent for you? Is it talent for you? What? Hmm, whatever. We'll deal with them later. Now, what do we do? That's as Oceana is done for. If we stay any longer, we'll be dragged into the ocean. Let's cut our losses and get out of here now. That's crazy, yo. What the fudge? So did I get all my mom's Pokemon? Tell me, Flame, did you find something? Uh, is that Brian? Is that Mr. Brian? Oh, oh dear. Are you okay? You were on that ship, weren't you? And we explained what happened. I see. So that's what happened. I don't think it was because of Team Exum. It's a good thing I was sent my trusted talent to rescue anyone he could find. Oh, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Tessel. Unfortunately, that ship has sunk to the bottom of the ocean. I wouldn't worry too much, though. I'm sure your mother will be fine in the long run. Team Exum? It's gotta be Exum. Team X. Aren't exactly the most com competent group out there. Oh, is this the first time you've heard of Team X? They're a criminal organization that no one really knows much about. They're usually all bark and no bite, so this is pretty shocking to me. I wonder if whatever they're planning has finally gone into action. Anyway, we're all alone now, aren't you? If you don't mind me asking, what do you plan to do now? That's a wonderful idea. You may be able to get your own Pokemon from there. You'll need one if you're going to be traveling around Eevee. I think I'm going to head to the wreck site to see if I can find any more survivors. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Things will work out eventually if you're patient. Before you leave, what is your name? Phantom. All right, Phantom, we'll see each other soon. Clear the way. Full speed ahead, Talonflame. Tailwind. Okay. I see you, big dog. Get it again. Okay. This is the dog thing, right? Let's hurry up and find this lab. Oh, they're all recording the ship's destruction, I'm sure. Achievement reach, tired feet, level one. Okay, I'm getting some achievements here, which is pretty sweet. That's not the lab. Where is the Pokemon lab? What is this? Right here. Octors. 
game froze for like two seconds. This gotta be the lab, right? Close the gate. Welcome to the immigration. Do you have your passport? No passport. Oh, this simply just won't do. Do you at least have a trainer card? Those can double as passports. Oh, yes, you do. Please come with me for a second. Okay. Could you please verify and renew this young trainer's trainer card? You know what will happen if it's not verified. I, sh I'm, I sure do. They'll only take a second. They're all verified and ready to go. Phantom is now a verified citizen of Evium as of this moment. Here, Phantom, you can have this back. You cannot roam Evium without any restrictions. Good luck out there, Phantom. So did that change my trainer card's name from Maria to Phantom? Nope, it did not. It did not. Okay, so. What's up here? Save the game. Okay. Have to figure out how to flare. No, I do not want to save the game. I want to go find some Pokemon. Let's get out of this bloody rainstorm. How the heck? Where, oh, where do I go from here? Let me talk to you. Are you trying to get okay. Nothing. I really don't want to get in front of that crew and take attention, you know? Nothing over here. Nothing down here. And there's got to be somewhere. I did get my trainer card verified, so that's a plus. Maybe there's got to be like a up here and I talk. Oh. Oh. Stupid. Is that a Pokemon up there? A Pokemon up there. The Emogas, maybe? What a pretty face like you doing in a pretty place like this. Hey, what's the big idea? You don't have a Pokemon? Don't waste my time. Okay. Prepare for a bit. Wait a minute, you don't even have a Pokemon yet. You can't do this. You can't go this way if you don't have a Pokemon. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey, do you happen to be Phantom? What took you so long to get here? Well, I suppose it's not that big of a deal. People would just get nervous. Meet me up ahead. We'll get started. I'm gonna save it right here. So, Jesus, big, <laughs> a huge freaking room. Yes, that's correct. I'm here to distribute a starter Pokemon to you. Thank you. The main lab is on the second floor. Let's head down. Oh, I thought I heard you out there. And where have you been? I've tried contacting you for weeks now. Why haven't you gotten back to me? Oh, you know, I've been busy and stuff. Oh, well, while you've been busy with stuff, I'm going ahead and finishing our project. I need you to go deliver it to Zumai for me. She's presently studying in Magnolia's laboratory. Or library. Oh, you know, I would, I would, but I'm sort of tied up with Phantom at the moment. Another new trainer, I see. Yep, Phantom, meet Jan. Jan, Jan? Meet Phantom. Oh, Jan. Jan. Nice to meet you, Phantom. I'm Amanda's brother. Yep, my bro here co-manages the league with me. If by co-manage you mean Jan does all the work while Amanda plays outside, then yeah, I can co-manage. You know, I'm better with more hands-on stuff. Jan, plus you're better with paperwork. 
I mean, honestly, it's such a good idea to pin me with all the legal documentation the league requires. I suppose you're right. If I left you with all this stuff, you'd make sure everything burned down to the ground. Anyway, since you're not willing to deliver this for me, I will myself. Okay, you do that. See you later. Okay. Gonna go up here. Ouch. Sorry, but that... Sorry about that. Please excuse me. Rude. Rude. Oops. It's gotta be second floor, right? That's what he said. In this room, I'm assuming. Not too much further. Now. This is the biggest freaking lab in the world. And I will don't worry about it. Amanda. Oh, hello. Right, anyway, Phantom, this is Professor Jennerson, aka Professor Jenner. This is Phantom. They're a new trainer, you know, the one I told you about. Oh, yes, welcome, Phantom. As Amanda stated, my name is Professor Janderson. I am the head scientist at this lab. Therefore, I am also in charge of getting new trainers on the right track. That being said, you're a little bit late. I meant, yeah, they were late. But they probably overslept or something. Excitement of one's journey can sleep to private person. You understand? Yes. Yes, well, let's get Phantom on their way. So, Phantom, right next to me, there's a door. Take that door and then the elevator. You'll be taken down to a room where all of the Pokemon that are provided are kept. You will be allowed to pick one Pokemon. Once you pick the one you're satisfied with, you'll be on your way. And we'll be waiting for you right now. Okay. That wasn't the right way. That wasn't the right way. Oh, it's this door right here. And then up the elevator. Then in this room. Sorry, I couldn't stand up while there while you were down here making decisions of your life. Professor Jen is also just awkward to be around, so let me explain the process. There are three bombies located in this underground paradise. Biomes. Fire types are sectioned off to the right, grass to the left, and water to the south. However, that's not all. If you're indecisive, like 80% of America, you can use that beautiful colored machine over there. That machine will drop out a Pokeball that will randomly contain one of the Pokemon found here. So go on. Go find your Pokemon. Okay, so we got... We got... A freaking Rowlet right there. A... A freaking Chikorita. Snivy, Trico, Chespin, and Torkoal, and a Bulbasaur right here. Over here we have a Poplio. We got a Mudkip. We got a Squirtle. We got a Totodile. Oshawa, Froki, a Piplup. Right there. Litten, Finnegan, Torchic, Chimchar, Charmander. Oh my goodness, dude. Who are we picking? Alright, so, you guys know what to do. Comment down below who you guys think I should pick for my starter Pokemon. I have some love right now for, uh, Chimchar. Or not Chimchar, jeez, what the heck was I thinking? I'm really feeling Totodile, because that's just my favorite starter Pokemon, um, along with Charmander. Um, Rally too. I don't know, man, I don't know who to pick here, man. So yeah, um, you guys go ahead and uh, let me know what you guys think. This is a 40 minute episode, so this is crazy. So yeah, um, with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.